When I was an undergrad, I was studying the social determinants of um, the history of the HIV epidemic in the United States and also in Sub-Saharan Africa. And I remember realizing that even though these were really different epidemics in very different contexts, there were a lot of similarities in terms of the fact that social, economic, and political forces were influencing whether or not people got access to medicine and access to healthcare. I really wanted to learn about how does the healthcare industry work. So I split my time between working for pharmaceutical companies and working for major global health organizations. My name is Gabriel Seidman. I'm a Doctor of Public Health candidate at the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health, and I'm focusing on health systems and health financing here. I specifically wanted to come to the Chan School to pursue the Doctor of Public Health program. It was a new degree that I was really excited about. Before coming here, I was actually looking at getting an MBA, but I ended up deciding that I wanted something that gave me more technical skills, um, focused in public health methods. The DRPH program was a perfect combination of those two because I'm getting sort of those quantitative methods, those qualitative research methods, um, all those analytic tools but we're also doing a lot of coursework focused on leadership development, management, finance, the kinds of courses you're gonna to wanna to think about in order to learn how to run an organization. So for me, this program and this degree was a perfect combination between the two sort of things that I was interested in. My group went to India this past winter. We spent our first week in Delhi and then two weeks in a poorer state called Bihar. We were looking at delivery of primary care services for children and looking at telehealth and telemedicine. How can you use um, cell phone service or Wi-Fi service to give individuals in these rural communities access to doctors living in cities? One of the highlights for me has been the interaction with specific faculty that I've had. I'm working with Professor Rafat Atun, who is the director of the Global Health Systems Cluster here at the school. I took Foundations of Global Health with him in the fall last year. And since then, I've been working with him as a research assistant and as a fellow for a couple of his projects to think about the future of innovative financing and also priority setting and decision making for ministers of health and ministers of finance. I've also really loved getting to know my classmates in this program. This is an incredibly diverse program. We have people from all over the world, all over the country, and you can really feel that diversity of backgrounds in the classroom, right? My colleague who's worked on Obamacare implementation for the last four years, and my colleague who worked on disease er eradication in Sub-Saharan Africa, um, and my colleague who worked on uh, humanitarian crises and refugee work uh, in Southeast Asia, they all have very different perspectives that they're bringing into the classroom and into our work, and that's really helped broaden my horizons and given me a tremendous experience here. One of our faculty members always says, the Chan School is a great school within a great university. So I've had the opportunity to cross-register at the Kennedy School of Government, at Harvard Business School, and that's really given me a lot of diversity of perspectives um, in terms of the way the faculty approach the questions, the subject matter, and in terms of the way other graduate students think about the problems that we're discussing. 